okay now this part 2 we want to model the middle section all right but before that I'm going to show you how we can get this uh, shotgun hooked uh, model all right so first we're just going to start with a box on the front viewport create a box and on the perspective um, just place it make sure it's uh, somewhat right at the center okay roughly like that and go to modify and see whether we have enough polygon or not and uh, alright we're gonna start with this amount of polygon so we're gonna convert this to editable poly alright so we're gonna transparent this so basically we're just gonna we're just gonna try to follow the shape alright so we're just gonna follow the shape Alright, so once we get up to this level, okay, we are going to use the inset tool, go to polygon sub object, and select all these polygons. Okay, just going to use the inset over here and this merge it a bit. Press K, right? So we're going to delete the inside. Then we're going to go to the border, we're going to click these two border, right? And use the bridge tool to close the gap all right and then we're gonna, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the edge mode select because okay now let's see we're going to apply a turbo smooth okay and as you can see it's not it's very round Looks like a child's toy. Mm, before we turn it, turn the um, corner to be hard edges. We just gonna align this up a bit. Align this according to the picture. Right, somewhat like this. Okay, and then we want to turn. We want to go to edge mode. Select one edge and hit the ring. Select one edge and hit the ring button. <coughs> and also then press the connect and make it two segment. And we're gonna. Split them apart until it gets to the corner of the edges. Alright, so we're gonna do the same thing here on the outside. Alright, okay, and when we turn on turbo smooth, it should be all hard edges. Alright, so 
think you might want to round things up a bit. Okay, so this should be it for this segment. You can make it more thinner and push it center. All right. So this you can also duplicate this, clone this, um, the shotgun hooked, and put it in front, right, for the front part. Okay, so that's done. Now, we now we're going to focus on <coughs> the front area. Okay. As usual, we're going to start with the box. And we're going to look at the perspective. And for this, if you want to align this properly, we might want to look at the top viewport. Okay, to get it aligned nicely. Alright, just roughly like that. So now I'm going to start with this amount of edges, right? So we're going to convert this to a little poly. and start to rearrange our model, our polygons and vertices. Right. Okay. So when you okay now when you look at uh, this area, this area is where the shotgun shell. Uh, go out every time when you pump the shotgun okay the used shotgun shell will go out here so usually it's only one side and for this shotgun is on the right side should be just doing it on one side so what we're going to do is uh, going to add more edges here use the connect to okay and just rearrange it And we're gonna rearrange um, some polygons here and add one more polygon in the segment over here. Okay. And of course, we want to place it some more of this. It's very important for you to strategize where you put your polygon. Alright. So there and there. Alright. Okay, the reason why I did this and also I'm well, gonna just add one more at the center here. Okay, All right. Okay, while well, we are at this stage, we're going to apply the uh, turbo source. Okay, isolate display. Okay, so now when you look at this, so we're going to tighten this up. Okay, we're going to tighten this up by uh, going to the edge mode and Use the connect, and this time we're gonna slide it at the edge to make it a hard edge. Okay, we're gonna do the same with the this very end of it. Right. 
so when we turn on the turbo smooth it will translate very well all right okay so once we have um, this model uh, we're going to add a segment as, um, in the middle here okay select one edges one edge and uh, press ring and same again this connect make sure this is uh, center to zero okay Right, press OK. So here's what we're going, we're going to do. Um, we're going to select. We're going to go to the text level. All right. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to select all these edges. I'm oh, sorry, all these vertices. All this vertex. Right. We going to pull this down a bit. And also, we're going to move, use the scale and bring it closer together. Okay, bring it closer together. Just like that. Alright, so it will be more rounder. Okay, be more rounder on the side. Alright, take a look at our turbo smooth. Check whether it's okay. Okay, so what we're going to do on this area is that we're going to select um, the polygon on this polygon, okay, and we are we're going to delete it, okay. But before we uh, delete, we're going to make an extrusion inwards. So it's with this polygon selected, but not on the other side because it is just for one side. So select these two polygons and go to extrude. Um, go negative, extrude it inward a bit. Okay, first you make um, one close extrude to make it a sharp edges, sharp edge, and press the plus button here. Okay, but this time pull it. Push it way a bit way back and press OK, and then you can delete this polygon. Press the delete button, and it's gone. So <clears throat> turn the what I call this turbo smooth on, and you have your ejecting shell case uh, section. But if you look at the picture, here you got a smooth curve, but this part is a bit. Uh, it's not, it's just flat. So basically, we have to flatten this area. Okay, we can increase the turbo smooth to 3. Go back down to editable poly. Okay, go to edge mode. Right, so we're gonna select the edges on the inside and we're gonna use the contact again. And this time, we're gonna slide it way closer over here. And press OK. Alright, there you go. So press render. It is hard edges over here. Okay. Alright, notice that when I render this shotgun, I can see through at the back. It wasn't supposed to be like that, right? Because the polygon over is not deleted. It is not being deleted. It should block from looking through and see this section here. See if I press render, shift Q, right? It's because the the back side 
of the polygon is not rendered so we have to go to the rendering render setup make sure we force two-sided take the force two-sided and press shift U again to render see it all fills up all right okay so that, that looks quite okay might want, want to turn the transparency a bit and just tweak a little bit okay Right, that should be roughly correct. And there you go. This is the finish middle part. And uh, inside the silver metal, what we're going to do is that we're just going to fill it in with a simple box. Right, simple box. Just gonna put it in just to kind of block things out a little bit like that. Okay, and if you look at the picture, there's a, actually a like a bolt there, so you can just use a sphere, very tiny sphere, and I want to transparent this to and select the sphere. And just place it there. something like that okay and so you can I'm sure you can do all this <coughs> okay it's up to you if you want to do this uh, indentation still the same technique that you can apply you can rearrange the the polygon here Okay, and use the camphor tool to make this substitute. This is optional. Okay, right. So, generally, this is how you model the middle part. So, when we uh, get back, when we continue uh, with our when we continue with our <coughs> uh, next part, part 3, I'm going to show you how to model the trigger area and also this area over here. Alright, see you on part 3.